Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I'm having a pretty good one. Um, wanted to get up here and do a video on some of the finished objects that I've had. I've had them finished probably a little over a month now and uh, actually one of them I did just finish last week but the biggest part of it was finished a month ago but I got so busy with uh, gardening and you know life in general that I just now got around to finishing it but I wanted to uh, share it with you guys before they uh, go to the new home. But anyway, I want to say welcome to everybody. And also, uh, there's the lighting, I'm sure, is going to be off. You're going to hear uh, noises. My cats are out running around. The windows are up. So you're just going to hear all kinds of things. <laughs> That's just life, I guess. But anyhow, uh, my finished objects. Now, the first ones I want to show you are out of one of my favorite books. It's called The Crochet Cute Critters, and it's by Sarah Zimmerman. And actually, the ones that I'm fixing to show you are the ones that were next on my list and it's the cat and as a lot of you know i'm a cat person so and i also have uh, two cats two new cats that i wanted to try to see if i can uh, get as close as i can to what they look like and it, they're not exactly like it but i think you'll get the the idea of how it is and i'll also insert pictures of them next to the cats that i made <laughs> now the first one i'm going to show you and i think they turned out really cute and one of them, I did the ears exactly the way she done it here. Let me show you. Let's see if I can do it like this. The ears are a little pointed. So I did the first one like that. But then the next one, I did it for all the ears off of the uh, Amanico cat. I believe is how you say it. Because I wanted it to be a little bit more round. But anyway, here's my first one. <laughs> Now, this is supposed to look like the cat that I have. Her name is Luna. And I'll insert a picture right here of uh, Luna and the uh, kitty cat. <laughs> I think it turned out cute. Like I said, um, it don't really have the orange in it like she does because she's a calico. But I tried to get as close as I can. And it does have whiskers, but it's kind of hard to see because they're black. And it blends in pretty good. But that whenever I look at this little cat, it does remind me of Luna because she has that look of almost like she's uh her eyes are huge and you know scared or something. <laughs> but I think it turned out cute. Now I use um Burnett Crushed Velvet and it's in the colorway coffee. Yeah, coffee. And this is how much I had left. And it's got, it's a number five bulky, and it had like um, 315 yards, 300 grams. And so, I had a little, quite a bit left. And so, anyway, that's what I used on that. And I used a five point millimeter hook whenever I made her. But like I said, I think it turned out really cute. So, that's my first one. Now, the second one, I did a little different. Like I said, the ears. And this is going to be... The other cat that I have, and his name is Woody. Here we go. <laughs> its belly looks bigger, too. Of course, the yarn that I used is the Velvety Smooth Yarn B, and it's mustard. And this one is, I believe it's a, let me get my glasses on. I can't really see it. It's a bulky five, and it had 80 yards in it, and I actually used one and a half of this. Once, yeah, one whole skein and a half of this one. Not really half, just a little bit, I guess you could say. And like I said, 80 yards, and it's 100% polyester. And I used a 5-point millimeter hook on this one, too. And so I think it turned out cute. Now, I'll insert a picture of this one with uh, Woody next to it. Now, he's orange and white, but he's got spots. And, you know, I guess I could have went in and did the color change and all that, but I really didn't want to go to all that trouble. So we get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he does have his whiskers, but it kind of blends in a little bit. I kind of used an off-white, and then his eyes are gold and a little pink nose. So I think it turned out cute. Um, I did the ears different. Like I said, I used the ears off the Amanico cap because I like the way they looked better than the one in the book. But anyway, these will be going to its new home. So that's Woody and Luna. <laughs> okay. 
Now, the next one I want to share with you is one that I've never made one before, but I, and I thought I'm, I'm going to do it. And I was super excited about it because I ended up trying out some new yarn that I've never tried before. And it's called Go For Faux. And it's line brand. This right here. And it's a husky colorway. And it's a super bulky six. And it has 65 yards in it. And 100% polyester. So pretty. So I thought I'd try it. And the one that I, the, the thing that I made was a slaw. <laughs> I love this little slaw. I think it turned out so cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, I've never used it before, and it wasn't that bad to work with. Uh, you know, it was, it, it started off kind of that way, but then after a while, you know, it was a little harder to work with than it was with the, uh, the velvet yarn, but, uh, but I managed. So, anyway, this is a free pattern by the Loopy Lamb, and I used a five millimeter hook. I also used, um, this is a uh, worsted weight, I believe. This was a scrap ball that I had, if I remember right. And it's a light gray. And then uh, mainstay black. And then I added some little safety eyes. Now, she had some kind of buttons for its eyes. But I managed to get some little safety eyes in there. And the only thing that I did is I added the hands. And I'm trying to remember how I done it. It seemed like I just chained so many. And then I uh, slip stitched back into it. And then skipped over and did another one. So, that's... How I did its hand because I thought it had to have hands. Hers didn't have hands, so I thought it would, you know, make it a lot cuter. But anyway, I think it's so sweet and I absolutely love it. And like I said, it didn't even use all of this right here. That's how much I got left. I probably possibly have enough to make another one. But a real easy pattern, except I mean, like I said, I was it was for me to use this for the first time. It was kind of, you know. I, I, I had a little bit of trouble, but once I got going with it, I figured it out, you know, it's because it's kind of hard to find the stitch with it, you know, and so I'm sure there's some mistakes in there, <laughs> but anyway, it's forgiving and you really can't tell. That's what I like about velvet yarn and this yarn too. All right, so that's the second one, or actually third. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is my favorite. I absolutely love this one because I am a bird fan. I have all tons of different kinds of birds in my backyard and one of my favorites are the woodpeckers and so I actually have a dead pine tree back there that sits kind of off way back it's halfway broke off and it's been standing like that ever since we uh, moved here and it's got a family of woodpeckers that live in it every year and a matter of fact we have a, a little family back there right now I can hear them so, but anyway, I wanted to make this. Now, this is a free pattern by, I forgot her name now. Well, let me show you what I made, and then maybe it'll come to my the friendly red fox. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. But anyway, this is the woodpecker that she has, the pattern. I don't know if she has a name for it, if it's just the woodpecker, but isn't it cute? I love this little guy. He is my favorite. Yeah, a woodpecker. <laughs> and I made it out of the velvet yarn, of course. Uh, hers is out of worsted weight, but I wanted to give it a go with this. And I had so much fun making this. I want to make another one. And like I said, it's a little bit bigger than what hers uh, is. And so the yarn that I used is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And it's the Yarn Bee Velvety Smooth Black. Let me see what the weight is on it. It is a bulky five, and it's got 80 yards and 100% polyester, and I used a 5-point millimeter hook on this one, too. Now, this is how much, I think I, I might have used, yes, I used a whole skein, and this is just a little bit of what I used on the next one. I think it was because I needed some on one of the wings. So, you, need, you would need two of these if you wanted to make one. And then, this is what I have left of the red. It's the same type of yarn and then I used the Chanel just Chanel premiere from the Dollar Tree white to do this and that's what I did on Woody too with the white on him I probably forgot to mention that but I think this turned out so cute now the only thing that she has with hers is it's, it's got a scarf but I'm not going to add a scarf and then I done the uh, Dollar Tree Chanel gray too 
and then gave him some little safety eyes. So I think it turned out so cute. Look at his little tail. So, so cute. But anyway, I, I think he's my favorite right now out of the ones I've just done. But anyhow, I really love this guy. But that's what I've gotten done so far. I, like I said, I've been super busy with some other things and all. But I do have a, you know, I do have, what, three whips. I haven't touched two of them in a while. My Jada blanket and the Mrs. Claus. But I did start another one. It's actually a um, cardigan that I, I just started. I've always wanted to make one. And so, anyway, I started on one of them. And so, whenever I... I've been going at it slow because I've been working on it at night because I'm extremely tired. And so I've been working a little bit on it, but I do need to do a chat video and I might whip it out and just do a little chat video while I work on it. Anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and uh, get busy doing my uh, gardening and stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day and I will be chatting at you guys real soon. I'm back again. <laughs> want to make a correction on the sloth i did use a whole one and then a little bit of this one because i got to thinking about it later and i thought there's no way because it's all it's got 65 yards in it so i did use a whole one and like i said a little bit of this one so if you're going to make one and you and you need you know you need two of these so anyway i just want to make that correction anyway you guys have a wonderful blessed day